the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 496 with Fathom Farewell. Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That sample you just heard was Soul Within the Shadow by Fathom Farewell, who I've got on the show with me right now. I've got a new EP called Consume the Earth, which is available. And right now I'm being joined by Alex to share some stories about the music and share more info about what Fathom Farewell has got going on. So, Alex, welcome to the show. How's it going? Great to have you on, my good man. I'd say it's a delicious little autumn day. How about yourself? Oh, yeah, you know, it's a little... uh got a nice breeze going lots of clouds so it's not too sunny over here you know (laughs) beautiful all right well speaking of not being too terribly sunny let's go listen back to that track soul within the shadow Coming back from Soul Within the Shadow. Now, that is probably one of the coolest track titles I've ever had the privilege of saying, Alex. (laughs) No way. It's so, I don't know, there's so much wrapped up in there, you know? But I'll let you take it away. I mean, killer track. I love the, it's kind of almost like a progressive riff in a way. Um, But it definitely gets my head head bobbing. Hell yeah, we wanted to make sure it was, you know, would be cohesive enough to keep everyone's head bobbing. 
what we were going for uh, essentially was just to be able to, you know, stand somewhat apart from your your regular generic metal core, but also while providing uh, some good context within the song. Very cool. Now, speaking of context within the song, what is the context? What in the world is the soul within the shadow? So essentially the song is about, it's kind of like how I feel about people in power who use their power to profit off of destroying the planet when there are plenty of other options that they could do instead of what they're invested in that would have a much uh, healthier effect on the planet and the people living on it. So um, one example of that that I like to use is essentially like the infrastructure we have for electricity in the U.S. Yeah, it was made in you know the early 1900s, and it was created for the population we had at that time. Now the population, fast forward today, today has multiplied to such an extent that using the same old outdated infrastructure is ridiculous, but we have corporate interests that are invested in it. So therefore, our government doesn't go full stop with uh, you know full force ahead with renewables simply because of corporate interests and corporations having such a strong hand in what the government does so that to me is sickening because it's just it's just harming (laughs) it's just harming everybody and costing us more money and hurting our planet and there's a lot of examples of that in today's society so uh the way i look at it is when somebody stops uh making decisions based on what's moral based on what's right and just does it for their own benefit in their own pocket in spite of it being the wrong decision uh i like to call i like to kind of refer to it as their soul has been kind of consumed by the shadow because obviously anybody with a soul is not going to make these sort of con these convoluted decisions where they're uh harming other people to benefit themselves and it's blatant and there's proof of it you know they wouldn't be doing that i feel like if they had a soul so i i look at it i kind of like label the uh the ill will and the terrible things that they do as the shadow and i i look at it as like their souls kind of been consumed within the shadow because they're no longer they're no longer a human like you or me decisions like what we would do based on morality they're just doing what they have been (laughs) kind of conditioned to do through being through having so much and through not needing to have humanity in their life yeah you know, the, the interesting thing that you mentioned there, Alex, is, you know, the corporate interests and the government. Well, the interesting thing about the corporate interests, and we could go down a rabbit hole with this one, but their interests are oh, actually, yeah. their interests are aligned with how they benefit through taxation from the government, and the government gives them tax benefits and loopholes to do what they do. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just in, like, <laughs> it, uh, it makes make it easier to do things that make no sense for humanity, but only are be- because they're cheaper and more cost effective. And it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Sweet. Anyway, carrying on, there is a music video for the track. So rock metal nation. If you dug the track soul within the shadow, you can go and check out the music video by going to today's show notes at www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. Let's go listen to the next track. Consume the earth.
Hey, you Rock Metal Nation, it's John from the Rock Metal Podcast with some great news. We're now on Patreon. For a dollar a month, you can help grow the Rock Metal Podcast directly. Head over to patreon.com slash the Rock Metal Podcast for more information. That's patreon.com slash the Rock Metal Podcast for more information. Thank you. Coming back from Consume the Earth, which is the title track of the EP. And whenever I come across a title track, Alex, I always like to ask, which came first, the, the EP title or the track title? Is this song... I, mean, I guess, uh, yeah. The track title. Just sorry to interrupt you. No, it was the, definitely the track title because we, um, you know, we wrote that song, the new EP, and then we just, you know, we kept on going. Thing, and uh, I just always liked the name Consume the Earth. And then when we finally had all the tracks for the EP together with all the names, I just felt Consume the Earth was the strongest title that could also carry over as an album title. Um, I also it does have contextual meaning just because um, each song on the track kind of tackles a different specific issue. Like Six Feet Beneath is about um, humans struggling with the idea that we're all going to die one day and just the way that most, many different people process that and even digs into how people who are affected, you know, who, who care about us are affected by the ways that we process that. And then uh, Wide Awake is about somebody, like I had a friend I trusted that stole from me, and uh, it's the way I feel about him, you know, don't mistake my kindness for weakness, kind of speaks for itself. And then, uh, you know, players, Soul, man. as I said, goes... Uh, <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't... It wasn't <laughs> he was actually a drummer. We, we uh, only were in a band together a little bit, but yeah, he definitely... Uh, that was my second guess. Caught- it was either the bass player or the drummer. That was, those are my two guesses. <laughs> Well, I was actually in his band where he was the front man and just things went <laughs> went sour. He convinced me to do some stuff I was naive to do you know, regarding money and things like that. And then I got kind of screwed. But, uh, you know, stuff hap- stuff happens. Uh, don't want to dig too deep into that. But then Soul in the Shadow about, of course, corporate interests controlling uh, the decisions that affect us as humans. And then Mutiny is it's about how I feel that we have less freedom than we're led to believe. And it's kind of, I feel like more people realize that every day. And I think that, um, so that's really what that song is about. Consume the earth. So the point I'm getting to is consume the earth is about. So cold beginning, only track I didn't mention is about starting over and just, uh, it's more about the sadness of being betrayed. Whereas wide awake is about the anger. So consume the earth really just ties everything together because it's a really general song, just about, um, people not really understanding how to treat each other. People not understanding how to live their lives or does things without affecting other people negatively like is within our control to do um which is thing i've learned many many a time through many experiences we definitely have the power to control our surroundings and the positivity or negativity that is within them and consume the earth is a very uh a very general take on that like you'll never see the light of day i'll never part ways with my pain is pretty much just a way of me saying that I'm human, you're human, neither of us truly understands exactly what we're meant to do here, how we're supposed to live, and obviously we're going to both be affected by that. And that's So I feel it ties the album together because it pretty much is just a generalization of the things that we come across living our lives, and then the other songs are about specific instances where we deal with things that we need to either overcome or work on. Cool. All right, now for Rock Revolution, who dug the two-track Soul Within the Shadow and Consume the Earth, we'll be super excited to know that there is a, a full EP out now called Consume the Earth. Now, Alex, you went through quite a bit of detail on the tracks there in terms of you know their subject matter. I'm curious, though, musically, uh, the two tracks that we, we listened to today, Soul Within the Shadow and the title track, Consume the Earth, are they musically indicative of what we should expect on the EP? I was, yeah, definitely. Cause, so Consume is... Um Consumes more of like a, a heavy rock track, you know, with with metalcore riffs, but then like uh, high pitched rock vocals. So um, a split between that and then soul is more of like the metalcore background with, you know, a, it has anywhere from influences from like after the burial to as I lay dying. So I feel like that will really uh, represent the heavier tracks on the album, whereas consume the earth definitely represents the uh the lighter tracks on the album for sure. 
Cool. All right. Well, the next logical question on Rock Metal Nation's mind is, how do we stay in touch with everything Fathom Farewell on the World Wide Web? Right, we got FathomFarewell.com, which is our website. It ties everything together. You can stream all of our music there, watch our videos, see all our show dates, buy merch, all that stuff. Uh, and then we are on all the social medias. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Fathom Farewell, even Snapchat. Got that Fathom Farewell. You can find us on YouTube. Um, thankfully, our name being sort of unique, which wasn't even really intentional. We just like them. <laughs> it, uh, if you type it into Google, you're going to come across pretty much everything that you could possibly find. All our music, interviews, all kinds of press, all that kinds of stuff. Cool. All right. Well, Alex, unless there's anything else you wanted to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for coming on to the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing Fathom Farewell with Rock Metal Nation. You know it. I'm so excited to have been on your show. Thank you so much. If we just found your favorite band in Fathom Farewell, big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation. Rock on, Rock Metal Nation.